Under fire from politicians on both sides of the aisle, President Obama says he will not tolerate the IRS being used for political purposes. He promised to get to the bottom of the agency's admission it targeted conservative groups. CBS 2's political reporter Marsha Kramer has more now on the scandal. This is something that I think people are, are properly concerned about. President Obama reacting for the first time to reports from the IRS's own inspector general that the tax agency targeted conservative groups, not individuals. If you've got the IRS operating in anything less than a neutral and nonpartisan way, uh, then that is outrageous. It is contrary to our traditions. Uh, and people have to be held accountable, and it's got to be fixed. <laughs> According to the agency's own inspector general, it started in the spring of 2010 when the Tea Party movement was gaining steam. IRS specialists were told to focus on groups with political sounding names seeking tax exempt status. Groups with names like We the People or Take Back the Country. Later, agents got updated orders to be on the lookout for Tea Party applications or groups whose mission was to educate about the Constitution or advocate for smaller government. This is absolutely disgraceful. This is really un-American to be using the IRS Internal Revenue Service to go after political enemies. That was the worst of Watergate. We thought that was over. Congressman Peter King taking issue with what the president knew about the IRS's activities and when. The president said he learned about it last Friday. It means either he's not telling the truth or he's totally incompetent. Competent. This issue was raised a year ago. The issue was raised a year ago, the spring of 2012, when the then head of the IRS was asked by members of Congress about complaints from Tea Party groups. There's absolutely no targeting. This is the kind of back and forth that happens when people apply. The IG's timeline has the practice going on at least a year earlier. We need a full-scale investigation. Democrats and Republicans have both announced probes. In the Senate, controlled by the Democrats, it's the Finance Committee. And in the Republican-controlled House, the Ways and Means Committee and the Oversight and Government Reform Committee are on the case. Christine? All right, Marcia.